Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to another video. So today's video I thought it'd be fun to do a reading vlog where I read When in Rome and Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. So I have been wanting to read this for a while and I was originally going to wait until I have the paperbacks but I got impatient, I've been wanting to do this video for months and so I thought you know what I'm just going to do it. So I do have the ebooks. I have heard so many good things especially about the first one and controversial opinions about the second but I'm very excited. So the first book, When in Rome, I have heard obviously like I said better things about it. I've heard that it's like a small town and there's like a competition where she's famous and here's a cook I want to say or something like that um so yeah I'm very very excited to start these so I'm going to go and start the first book and I'll be back with you all when I have an update for you can we dance in the moonlight hold hands if the mood's right make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon I'll take you to the beach okay so i thought i'd give a quick update so i'm now in chapter four page 31 and it's already really interesting stuff has happened like quite quickly which is something that i enjoy um and also another thing is they're already cracking jokes so you can tell noah especially is like going to be quite funny and amelia herself is already cracking jokes and you can also tell that they've already got a connection and everything so what's happened so far is Amelia is a singer she is famous she's well known and she's going to this bed and breakfast but her car breaks down um, so she doesn't know what to do but she has ended up in a front yard Noah's front yard and so Noah ends up going out there to let's like, see what's happened to see if there's any help like anything he can help with but she says no thinking that he is going to kill her um, be a murderer whatever and then so he just leaves and then eventually she ends up going into the house and stuff and yeah that's all i'm going to say because i'm trying not to ruin it too much but it's very very interesting so far so yeah i'm going to go and continue reading read a bit more and i'll be back with you all with an update okay so it's time for another update so i am now on page 68 yes 68 chapter 9 and i am still really enjoying it and I have high hopes for this book. I really honestly have high hopes for this book. So you can already kind of feel a connection between Noah and Amelia. Um, and I don't know. It's just interesting. I feel like more is going to happen though. Like obviously not much is happening at the moment. I'm not even 100 pages in. But I feel like, you know, there's something that's going to happen. There's possibly going to be a conflict at some point. Um... But yeah, it's interesting. You can tell that like there's a connection between them, but not like a close connection because like Noah has already told her that she's got to find another place to stay. Um, but Noah has also given her the courage to be herself because she hasn't been herself for ages. So she's always listening to Susan, who is her manager, I believe. She's always listened to her and like the, the way she has to eat and stuff and you know it's not healthy you know so she has got the strength from Noah to like take her life back in a way um so yeah it's sweet at the moment and like I said a quick easy read it literally hasn't took me long to get like read those 68 pages at all and that is like I said in the last clip definitely something I need at the moment so I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna go and read some more and this video has turned into a spoiler one because I was trying not to spoil anything but it's a bit hard to make a vlog about a book without spoiling things and making it interesting and watchable so yeah unfortunately this has turned into a spoiler vlog but I hope you guys don't mind um, so yeah I am now going to go and continue the book okay so I'm on chapter 10 page 77 and i spoke a bit too soon so <laughs> it's moving quickly so they just had their first kiss and it's all interesting but it's one of those kisses where they do it and they're like oh that was a mistake it wasn't supposed to happen so yeah getting interesting but i just thought i'd give that a little update but now 
Amelia's gonna hang out with Noah's sisters, so that's where I'm at. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go and read some more. So I'm sorry that I'm in the same place and I have been this whole vlog. It's just I have just been sat here, listening to the well, going between the audiobook and the physical copy, well, the ebook of When in Rome because I was reading it physically and then I realised I had editing to finish doing to get the video up for today which is my mid-year wrap up which you would have obviously seen last month by the time this video is up but I thought I'd give you a quick update so like I said I was editing and I was listening to the audiobook and I'm loving it I mean the like I said the relationship between Noah and Amelia is progressing nicely not too fast not too quick you can tell that Noah is a gentleman and he's just you know nice and Amelia's the same I love both of the characters I feel like you know they're gonna be great together when they eventually get together but I'm expecting some kind of conflict at some point because things are going too well at the moment like things are perfect and normally in books when things are like so in place and just going so well you know that eventually something's gonna go wrong and so that is what I'm expecting uh, but like I said I am still really really enjoying it and would I highly recommend this at the moment yes I would so I'm going to like I said continue reading um, I will go into more detail and stuff once I've finished the book because I feel like I could talk about it all together then which would be even better so like I said I'm gonna go and continue reading get this video uploaded for you guys and I'll be back with you okay so a little bit of an update so I am on chapter 17 and Noah has just come home drunk but the scene was so cute like the way Amelia handled it and everything I like what Noah was saying to Amelia drunk like unknowingly so cute absolutely love that scene I think that might be my favorite scene so far in the book. I don't know. I just absolutely loved it. So, yes, I am going to continue because I am very intrigued. Okay, so I am now on chapter 25, page 188. So I really don't have much left. And I'm actually really enjoying it. Like I said, I am loving it even more. There was just a scene where they, Noah and Amelia were talking about books. And I absolutely love it. Like, that also another favourite scene of mine um, so like when he was drunk and the book scene absolute favourite scene um, and then Amelia went like on a girls movie night with his sisters and it's just so cute but then they start like c comparing Amelia's life to the movie they're watching um, and they start like talking about like that Noah can't get his heart broken again because of what his fiance did well, ex fiance did. Um, and so there's a bit of mystery still there with that. Uh, they have still had some romantic moments, which I absolutely love. I love that it's like spreaded out but not rushed, um, and that it's gradually happening. So I'm absolutely loving it. It's looking like a four star for me at the moment, but obviously I've still got the ending. Um, I've still got just over 100 pages left. So. I'm going to go and read some more, and I'll give you all an update when I have one. Can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood's right. Make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again. Cause I don't want my day to end with always running in circles. Okay, so I have just finished When in Rome. I'm definitely going to give it a four star. It was so amazing, so cute, really fast paced. Just absolutely loved it. And I feel like the pace of the romance was done really well. And to be honest, even though well, on my um, tablet it says that it's 292 pages, ebook wise, so it's so short. But the romance was kind of a slow burn like it took a while for things to actually generally happen like it was right near the end of the book obviously they would have like a kiss every now and then throughout the book but for them to generally like be in a relationship or whatever I mean you know so I'm excited to get into book two which is practice makes perfect which will also be in this vlog 
um, which I'm going to start in a little bit. I'm going to give myself a break because I have been reading for the past, well I've been reading for hours, so I'm just going to give myself a little break. Um, but I do highly recommend When in Rome, I just absolutely loved it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, and I do want, sorry about the noise in the background by the way. One thing I do want to mention is this book from Sarah Adams is definitely a lot more like spicier than her normal books or like for example I read the cheat sheet from her literally like nothing no spice in there but this and obviously in this one there was like no explicit scenes but you still got it's it's a more spicy like you still got the idea um so yeah that is something that was definitely different and that was something that i definitely was not expecting from sarah adams but like i said i still really enjoyed it so anyway yeah i'm gonna give myself a break and then i'm gonna start practice makes perfect and i'm really excited for this one but i have heard controversial uh, reviews about this one some people said that they loved it some people said they don't like it so i'm intrigued to see what side i'm on okay so i just started practice makes perfect a little while ago that didn't make any sense but i have just hit page 50 and it's really interesting so far like i'm enjoying it it seems like fun small town kind of thing uh i don't know like i've heard people like i said before i've heard like criticism about this but at the moment i don't have any personally but obviously like i said i'm only 50 pages in so that could change so I am going to read some more, once I've read a bit more I will like explain a bit of what the story is about, once I know myself a bit better, but yeah I'm going to go read some more. Okay so I thought I'd give an update and I just wanted to give a quick update, but I'll just let you know that at the moment I'm loving how Will treats Annie, like with anything really, um, just like in general, I don't know what it is. Um, but at the moment, I'm actually loving this more than what I thought I would because of people's reviews. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I just wanted to let you guys know that. But I'm going to go and read some more. Okay, so I just want to give another update quickly. And I just want to also say that I am struggling a bit. Only a little bit. Because there are a few times where I feel like Annie acts a bit childish. Because it seems like she's almost like... 30 I think she said at some point uh, she's almost in her 30s and so I feel like yeah she's active but childish sometimes but I think that's only because her whole life she has been known as like a goody two shoe like she can't do anything wrong um you know she follows the rules you know she's too good basically you know what I mean um so I feel like that doesn't help with the childish thing um but it was happening more at the beginning of the book than it is now so i feel like you know it's getting better which helps a lot so yeah that's also you know so else i just wanted to point out something else that i thought i should let you guys know so yeah i'm going to go and continue reading now okay another update so i was reading and obviously and i noticed that there was something i liked and the one thing that i liked is that i is that will got like any other tattoos and he booked the appointment and she decided to go um and i feel like that helped her be more herself because she's always wanted a tattoo but she felt like if she got a tattoo then people would see her as like you know completely different it's not who she is so she was afraid to get it but then will like you know book that appointment kind of like push her in a sense not in like a you know not in a like a weird way he did say if you don't want to go you don't want to go but i mean like he took that step and like knowing that she wanted to do it but was too afraid and she did it and i feel i don't know it's amazing how like so so small like that can help someone like actually become who they really are and stop hiding so yeah again that's just something else i wanted to point out okay so i haven't read much more since my last update but i just wanted to give a quick one so at the moment I'm kind of intrigued in Will's past because it is hinted at a little bit at the beginning of the book and then it's hinted like there's a few little hints throughout the book so far.
So I'm interested in like what happened, you know? It's making me more intrigued, it's making me want to find out which is something that is good. So yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's something that I'm intrigued and it's something that I want to know. Now I know that's you know, a common thing in romance books, but that's one of the things that sometimes I like to read about where um you've got to also kind of find out like what happened in the past. Now I hope it's something good because sometimes it always you know lets me down. So I'm gonna go and continue reading. Okay, so I definitely just one hundred percent read my favourite scene from the book so far because Will and Amelia just ended up going on Annie's date, like just showing up. Um and like the way everything happened and stuff, I chuckled, okay? I laughed a little bit. But I must say that is definitely like one of my favourite scenes so far. If not my favourite scene. So from this book. But I just find it so funny like the way it all happened. Like you'd have to read it to know. But yeah, it was just really funny. So I don't know why, but it was. Okay, so I just want to give like my last five thoughts because I just finished the book and I thought I'd finally give you a different spot because this whole video has been in the same room. So I thought I'd end the video in a different spot. So um all together I finished it. I decided to rate it four stars. I liked it as much as I liked when in Rome, so I'm on like the you know, the like side, not the dislike side. Um, but I don't know, I just, there were some t parts where I felt funny, I was intrigued the whole time, the romance was cute. There was obviously some negative things that I said throughout, like she was a bit childish sometimes, whatever. And I was a bit disappointed, not disappointed in um, like Will's past, but I felt like it was gonna be something more like serious, something more like, you know, more than what it was uh, for the way that he was acting and stuff. And I, cause I feel, you know, he wasn't a bad person, I'm not saying that, but it's just the way he viewed love. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but it makes sense in my head. But yeah, so, absolutely loved it. So, when in Rome, I rated four stars, loved. Uh, Practice makes perfect, four stars, also loved. So, I just wanted to give, like, a quick overview. So, when in Rome is um, about a baker, and she's popular, she ends up being stranded and then Noah helps Amelia and then they kind of become friends and then lovers and then uh, with P uh, Practice Makes Perfect because I haven't really explained what this book is about as I just realised um, this is about Annie and she's like, known as like the goody two shoe kind of thing and she was on a stay and it went wrong she's not very good at dating but she wants you know she wants someone she wants a family she wants all that stuff and so, um, Amelia, from the first book's bodyguard, Will, uh, decides to help her, you know, learn how to date, like, h learn how to act on a date, uh, and then, eventually, they become friends, and they've got friends for each other when this happens, and that's quite known, and then, things start to happen, and it's very intriguing, and I absolutely love it, so, yes, those are those two books i highly recommend them thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a microphone emoji because amelia was a singer so yeah thank you so much for watching whatever you enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe if you want it's free and hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>